guys, for today, I will do the return demonstration of uterine balloon tamponade. This is an emergency management for uterine atony. Good day guys! For today's video, I will do the return demonstration or I will explain the return demonstration of uterine balloon tamponade. Of course, first for the assessment, assess the woman's status first. Second, i-assess nyo muna yung ability ng client to follow the instruction. For the planning, gather all items that you will need for the procedure for easy accessibility. So, prepare the equipment, the intrafolic catheter, 50 cc syringe, 1 povidone iodine, 2 sterile gloves, tapos yung saline solution but I don't have it. So, kaya, ito na lang. For the return demonstration, pwede naman improvise. So, I have here. And then, for the separate equipment, prepare nyo yung tape. yung good pen and then yung gagawin yung gagamitin yung uterine balloon tamponade later okay so I will explain the procedure for the implementation identify your client introduce yourself and explain the procedure to obtain client's cooperation and to work simultaneously of course sasabihin nyo yung pangalan nyo itanong nyo kung ano yung pangalan ng patient for example, good morning ma'am, I'm Nurse Mary, I will be your nurse for today. May I know your name ma'am? Tapos itanong nyo kung ilang taon na siya to clarify if the patient is your real patient. Explain the procedure to the client, tell her that it will be cause discomfort. Uterine balloon can cause discomfort. This is to decrease the client, client's anxiety and apprehension. Explain like... Ma'am, I will be doing the emergency management of your postpartum bleeding. It can cause discomfort, ma'am, but I encourage you to relax, stay calm, and take a deep breath while I'm doing the procedure. So, I will be doing a uterine balloon tamponade and insert it inside your uterus to stop the bleeding. Explain the procedure can provides and or obtains the client's cooperation to work simultaneously and of course, it decreases the anxiety of the patient and the apprehension. After explaining the procedure to your client, encourage her to urinate. as the client, like, okay ma'am, if you can stand, I will assist you to urinate. If you feel dizzy, I can offer you a bedpan or I can catheterize. This is to help you to urinate because a full bladder can weaken the contractions of the uterus and can delay the separation of the placenta. After the patient's voided, Assist him to lie in bed with her legs apart. And, of course, drape the patient to provide privacy. You tell her that, Okay, ma'am, I will assist you now in bed with your legs apart. And don't worry, ma'am, I will drape you properly and I will only expose the area that I only need to assess to provide cooperation and to maintain the privacy of the patient. After positioning the client on bed, Start intravenous infusion and incorporate 10 units of oxytocin in a liter of intravenous fluid. This is to restore the blood loss, to treat shock, and to help the uterus while contracting to stop bleeding. After making the intravenous infusion and incorporating the 10 units of oxytocin, next is wash your hands and put an antiseptic solution over the woman's perineum and thigh. And then put your gloves. Now open the intrafolic catheter. Make sure to maintain its sterility. And test. 
test the balloon of the intrafoli catheter for its patency. This is the way how to make uterine balloon tamponing. After making it the uterine balloon tamponade, inflate it first with the saline solution to test if the if the blob that we use for uterine balloon tamponade is there is leakage, but if none, insert the deflated balloon inside the mother's uterus and when it is already inside the uterus, inflate a saline solution minimum of 250 ml up to 500 ml of saline solution until it can seen in the cervix. For example, if you already inflated a 300 ml of saline solution and the bleeding is continuously inflate again add additional 50 ml until it can seen in the cervix the maximum of inflated balloon inside the uterus is 500 ml inflating appropriate amount of saline solution and until it can seen in the cervix clamp the end of the catheter and tape it into the patient's thigh for gentle traction of the catheter. After doing the procedure, remove your gloves. And discard it properly. And proceed to hand washing for infection control. After the procedure, I will continue to monitor the vital signs, urine output, fundal height, vaginal bleeding, and the amount of blood loss to monitor if the patient is experiencing hypovolemic shock. And I will document the procedure on the nurse's notes. And if the bleeding is not subside, I will refer the client into a CMOC facility. Documentation provide accurate data in the care of my patient.